so till now we have seen that how you can run your azure devops code or even your uh, github code in azure pipeline for free right but uh, there was a problem that the html report that comes we have to go inside the publish right we have to publish and then go inside here and check whatever is the folder structure or wherever your report is coming but but in this video we'll see that how we can see for example here you are seeing a test tab if you want to see a html report tab over here so that you can directly see it right so let's see how we can uh, do that so if you are coming first time to my channel you can uh, subscribe to it and do leave a comment on this video so but let me first tell you that the report will only be visible if it's a one page html report if it comprises of multiple pages then for that solution is still not there so let me show you there is a feature request support for this right so there is a way we can get it for a single page html but not for multiple pages html right sometimes an html is dependent on various files and then so if it is an email emailable kind of report which uh, which is uh, which is containing everything then you can do this if it is dependent on some files then it might not appear so let's see how you can do that <music> So I will leave the link for this you on, on, on the search engine. You can type HTML viewer for uh, Azure DevOps. You will be landing on this page. And then so if you see here, this is a small code that we have to add. But before that, it's an extension in the marketplace. You can click on get it for free. If you are doing it for your organization, then a request will go to your admin since I'm doing in my own organization, right? So it is giving me two options. I have two organization. Let me check which one I'm using now. So I'm using this Khurana Gaurav. This is organization and this is project name, right? So let me go here in the marketplace. Yeah, so let me select Khurana Gaurav as I showed you that I'm using that, right? So it will install that extension and then this will start appearing in your assistant right so now i'll click on install or you can download and import as well right you all set proceed to organization now i can go to my organization and under automation and let me see my pipeline so this was the pipeline we created in the previous video for uh, github right i can edit this pipeline and i can copy paste the code so you can search for HTML viewer Azure DevOps, right? Marketplace. And this is the link that you will get, which we have already installed. And then you can just copy this task. And probably after publishing or publishing is not required if you don't want to do, you can paste the task. And if there are any mistakes in the spacing, you will see that. Right, so if you see that the uh, spacing is not right, so that's why we are seeing this red symbols. So I have fixed the spacing over here and let me delete this. Right, so we have to give the path of our report. So the name is publish HTML report. I can name it as HTML report, right? This is the name of the task by which the agent will know that, okay, it has to run this task, right? And we can give the path over here. So the path for me is under target, right? Let's see what was the path. You can give the path wherever is your single page HTML report is there. So in my case, it's under surefire reports. Right, target, surefire reports, and emailable report.html. So I'll mention surefire reports. And under that, the report name is emailable report. You have to write, put the right spelling, otherwise, it will not come. Surefire reports. I have mentioned, yeah, surefire reports, emailable report.html, right? So after that, I can save this and I can commit uh, to the branch, right? 
and then I will not run it because whenever I commit to the branch, it automatically runs that because we have put the trigger as main. So let's go to pipeline and see if it is already running. Right, we see that it started running this pipeline. So now it has initialized the job and we'll wait for this task called as HTML report. Okay, so once this two are completed, then because it will run in sequence, right? We can run some of the task in parallel, but it is dependent on the previous one. So we will run them in the sequence. So the extension is a very good thing that is available. So you can explore this marketplace that is being uh, that is being provided by Microsoft where people create utilities and they put it here, right? So various companies have put it. I think like CSONAR Cloud also has and we'll search for Postman, right? You will see for Postman also there are various things are there. If I just search for HTML, or let me search for test cases, if anything related to test cases, right? If you see test case association and so many things are there, right? Python test and all. So you can install these things and try that how they are working, right? They are, sometimes they are given by the company itself who are developing it, but sometimes they are by a third party. And even some of them are by Microsoft as well. So which you can install as per your need and you can experiment with this. And there are like, it helps even in the Azure various kind of in agile ceremonies, right? Retrospective and all. So here you can apply the filters like for what you want. If you want related to Azure test plans, then this is related to testing the extensions that are available, right? For example, browser stack, lambda test, and they also gives all this because uh, to provide a good integration with their platforms, right? So you will find, you can find category wise as well, right? Let's go back to our pipeline. So if you see it ran successfully and this step also ran successfully, it was able to find this. Let's see if it did the magic or not. Okay, it did the magic HTML viewer is there. Okay, this report is there, right? So. Hope you found it useful that by just installing an extension and putting a small set of command, which was. So hope you found it useful by simply installing an extension and writing this small thing in your YAML file. You are able to see the report without going to any folder or directory, right? You see it as HTML viewer. Only condition is it should be a emailable report, right? Emailable means all the things should be contained in that. If you send somebody, then if they open, they see that report, then it will appear nicely over here. For multiple things, there is a workaround not available here. I will share that in another video. If you have a multi-page report, then to give you an idea, like you have to host some somewhere, right? That link you can give here, but not... Uh, not the direct solution by which you can host uh, multiple pages or multiple kind of HTML file. Only one page is supported for now. So hope you are able to implement it. And if any issues do let me know, I would be able to try to help you, right? Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you for watching.